G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Something a little bit different. Instead of it being a brand name, I'm going with one of these little pop-up lanterns from a local hardware store in here in Australia called Bunnings. Now, I bought this one eight to 10 years ago to keep in my center console of the car. It's actually got the original batteries in it still. So, let's see how it works. It weighs about 148 grams, which is about 5.2 ounces. Uh, yeah, size wise, one, two, three is about three and a half inches high by one, two, two and a half inches at the widest point across the base. Plastic, that's it, nice, cheap. Like I said, now they're selling them in Bunnings for about six dollars so the price hasn't really gone up on these for the last what, eight to ten years one thing that has changed is they're no longer known as lightworks and that's l-y-t-w-r-x they're now at Bunnings known as lynx but you go over ebay and they've got all different brand names on them and some ridiculous prices like I said, at the moment now, they're $6 at Bunnings. You go on to eBay and uh, or the online store and you're paying up to $58, $60 for them. And that is just ridiculous. They're just a load of really con merchants. So look around your hardware stores if after this you're interested in something like this. Now the batteries access is at the bottom and it's just a screw off and it came with some super heavy duty batteries and they're still as if they look like they're new so which is which is good now there's no rubber seal on any of this here so it's not going to be watertight so I suppose if you just get it caught in the shower go and run in front of your tent to your car or back again or run into the loo and back you should be okay but I wouldn't leave it out when it's a downpour or leave it out all night because the water will get into it and I believe it'd probably ruin it it gives off about 150 160 lumens of light and that's after three AAA batteries they say it will last up to two and a half hours now that will depend on what batteries you use with the super heavy duty ones, I believe they will last up to the two and a half hours. But if you're going to buy the cheaper ones for the little dollar store or something, then you're probably only going to get 25, 30 minutes out of some of them. We've got nice little handles so we can hang it up in the tent. Oh, it's ideal for one of the kids to carry. Just small enough for a child's hand in there. So they can feel like a big boy or a big girl. And the way you turn this on, there's no buttons, no switches, no dials. It's just a simple pull up. And that's it. And to turn it off, we just close it. And now my eyes have gone funny. Brightness wise, like I said, it's about 150, 160 lumens. Now we've just got the light coming outside, so I'll quickly turn all the lights off in here. Okay, that's the lights off. We've got a little bit of light coming for the blinds there, but all in all, it's about 95% dark in here. I'm just going to lift the lid up, and there you go. Got it arm's length, and hopefully I'm lit up. Nice and bright. There you go. Don't need any flash uh, recording cameras and everything else, studio cameras. Now, like I said, there's no dials, there's no way of regulating how much light electronically or like I said, with the dials. But if you don't want as much light, the trick is to just slowly close that down. So just let's find this for, oh, back up. Yeah, I've closed it down to what's that? That is about just over a quarter of an inch open. 
and uh, in metric that's about seven eight millimeters and that gives quite a nice glow just over the table with nothing in your face again nice and bright arm's length and as you can see that's about half a meter behind me and that's all lit up and I can see all around my office all lit up I can see my keyboard over there I can see books on the shelf in the far corner which is about eight nine meters away that so gives off a good spread of light now they say it's got the cob light in it which I believe would be LED just a different brand I'm not sure I like it <laughs> if you're a beginner in hiking and camping and you don't want to spend a lot of money like I said at the moment six Australian dollars at Bunnings here in Australia this is I don't know dirt, dirt cheap because you, you're paying over a hundred dollars just for a small headlamp for walking around nowadays and some of them I've actually seen about two hundred dollars for the little headlamps so <laughs> if you can get something for five or six dollars it's going to be worth it to give out camping and go and a bit of hiking so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and it's given you some good information and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button and then click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are a subscriber again I thank you very much